Good morning and welcome to Cup O Cuoco. I got a new stand for my phone, so how great is that? I don't have to use my hands or awkward books or boxes or Lysol wipe holders to hold my phone up. It's like I'm a real professional. It's Tuesday. How's everybody doing? I haven't done one of these in a while because I haven't really had much to talk about, to be honest. We're just uh, hanging in there, knocking on wood, all very healthy in this house, staying quarantined, except for going out and checking on the horses and the hundreds of other farm animals that we have. Um, but we did do a cool thing yesterday, actually, and it's a little thing, but it was kind of cool. You know, on top of wanting to help, well, you know, Carl and I were kind of trying to figure out how we can help during this time, this, this corona time and the people and who means, you know, who are important to us and kind of more on a personal level. And on top of obviously all the healthcare workers and, oh my God, the scientists, everyone that's up 24 seven right now fighting this, we majorly, majorly salute you, as you know. Um, but we decided, we there's a um, restaurant that we adore. Oh, look who's coming. Who's gonna join? Are you gonna join us? Come sit down. You're not gonna join us? So you're just gonna interject, know that I don't know how to edit, and then leave. Well, I'm trying to teach you how to edit. I'm gonna try and edit. Okay, you wanna come sit? No, so I'm talking funny. about Angelinos. Oh. So we, there's a restaurant that we love, our family loves, called Angelinos in North Hollywood. It's actually, it was like a staple during my Big Bang Theory days. Cute side, cute story. My dad used to host a dinner there every Tuesday night, which was the night of our live shows. And any guests that we had, he would have at his table at Angelino's. Anybody, if they were my friends, they were Carl's family, anybody. Like the Don hosting. He totally was, it was very Sopranos. This Italian restaurant, family owned. We know the owner, we know the head chef, we know all the servers. It's a wonderful place. It's called Angelino's. Anyway, um, we had heard, well, through my trusty assistant, because Emma is the best and she comes up with all the good ideas. So I really can't take credit for this. She looked into Angelino's and they had to obviously lay off a ton of people, a lot of people that we know. And the restaurant was having a really hard time and I was super concerned, oh my God, like these people, it's like our family. Like it really kind of is our family. We know them, I think I ate there four nights a week and would go in there and have a glass of wine and like talk to the, the people that work there. It was like just absolutely lovely. So me and Carl decided, well, Emma helped us. <laughs> we did a meal delivery from Angelino's yesterday. We, we, we dropped off a hundred meals which was so awesome, including maybe 103 meals because we ate three meals in the car. Um, my sister Brie helped as well, who's also here. Brie, where are you? Brie's here too. Come on, my cup of cocoa. We're live across the United States of America right now. Wait, that's not how this works. We're live we're across the entire yeah. world. This we is, can't edit this. Yeah, we're well, gonna edit this. We're we gonna can't edit, edit it because no one, I don't know how to edit. Hey! hey. <laughs> it's family cup of cocoa. So I was just saying, we we delivered the hundred meals. We divvied them up. We did the majority of the meals to a to um, Providence Hospital, a hospital near our house that we love, and then a quarter of the meals went to a fire department down the street, and then another quarter of the meals went to the, an urgent care that is actually near us. That I noticed a bunch of people were trying to get into the other day, and people. I mean, they're working there too. And I don't know, I just felt this need to drop off to them and they were so excited. It was really cute. Anyway, we thought it would be, or Emma again, I keep having to give Emma the credit. Um, she's gonna get a big head from this. It was just a cool idea to kind of, you know, bulk up from a restaurant that we love and serve the people and serve the people that are serving us. It was a small gesture, but I think my point in saying this is if there is a special place that you love that you wanna save that you're hoping survives through this, especially like family owned in a place that has to lay off these people, you know, picking up a meal from there and dropping it off. We don't need to get a hundred meals, but- We have smaller healthcare places. Not like, you know, yes. maybe aren't getting enough, as much attention as the, maybe the bigger hospital. Yeah, we went to a smaller hospital actually that um, is in our area and that actually I've, I've gone to before. And just these smaller places that might be getting slightly overlooked or whatever. But I think, um, and at the same time, we were able to at least help our restaurant and the people that worked there for a time being, which we're really excited about. And we got to eat great food. So Angelino's in North Hollywood, we want you to survive. That's one of our favorite places and hope, and I will fight, uh, I will hopefully fight. <laughs> I, I'll hopefully fight to figure out words. <laughs> I have to go to 
Providence Hospital now, so I'm glad I gave them food yesterday. Oh my God! Literally just had a minor, minor, yeah. Um, anyway, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? I need to go poop, so I'm gonna go do that. Are we not going to talk about Carl's American Black Pants? Oh, he or? already wore them. Oh, the koala challenge. So a lot of people think we did that on two different days because we changed clothes. Mm -hmm. That's actually not. I'm setting the record straight. We did it in the same day. I just, he was wearing those ridiculous pants and they're like, um, what do you call this? MC Hammer pants. And I could not get my leg through. I'm like, these pants are not, they're, they're not good for the koala challenge. Not happening. Um, but it seems that the koala challenge has gone viral which I'm so proud of, so proud of, you know, it's all we have right now, but it was pretty funny. His little things. His little things. Um, oh, I shot an episode of Conan. I think that's going to be on tomorrow. I think tomorrow or Thursday. I'm not sure. I have to check, but that was really, that was absolutely awesome. Conan was great. Yeah, it was really fun. And Brie, what have you been doing lately? A lot of working out. Look, just work now. What's your What's your favorite workout right now? Tell all the fans that want to know. My favorite workout. Share right with now us, because she knows all the fitness. I'm obsessed with Kirsty Godso at the moment on the Nike training app. Kirsty Godso. Godso. Yes, she's this cute little bit from I think she's from New Zealand, um, but her stuff is so hard and so good. I love doing that, and then I love coupling that with the class. We love the class. Kaylee loves as well. Uh, it's a good combo. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm doing all of hers. I'm just like on a kick. I kind of go on a kick of doing the same. I get obsessed with one thing and then I'll move on. But right now, I'm, yeah. I really love her. She's great. And the, the premium um, is free. There you go. You guys, she's the fittest person I know. So you oh, guys should take it from her. Look, you guys. No, you are. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. It's hard to get uh, motivated <laughs> yeah, to do it, it really kind of by yourself. It's a routine. You gotta. I think a routine for me is what helps the most. Or things that I am... I make sure that I do every single day, that I just am committed to doing that really helps like a yeah. schedule. Yeah, it's really hard yeah. though. Yeah, and drinking a lot of coffee. That's obviously very important. Yeah. Drinking a lot of coffee, got my Game of Thrones mug. Why are you using this special mug I bought you? I just, I haven't cleaned it yet. I just was going I bought her a special mug. I no, just it's so cute. I'm, I was going to post about it. I just, this is always the one that I have at your house. Tune in soon just for Bree's post of my, I'm pretty just, sure that's my mug. Well, it is. What do you mean? You said this you leave this here for yourself. No, I'm just saying, I, oh, this is always That's the one, the one you go for. I think I you like the size. I love the size, and I want to keep Game of Thrones alive forever. I understood. Once a Stark, always a Stark. You guys could use it. We need another show. Like, a Big Bang Theory mug. You could keep Big Bang Theory alive in your heart, too. This is what I'm dealing with over here, you guys. Okay. Oh, speaking of Big Bang, actually, this leads me into our next um, topic. HBO Max, where I'm premiering uh, my new show, The Flight Attendant, and Big Bang Theory will start airing in Friends and all those great shows, just got its launch date today, which is oh, May. I didn't know that. Yes, May 27th. So yes. that's exciting. Um, you know, there's a lot of streamers out there, and you have a lot of choices, but they have a pretty amazing library of stuff that you've probably loved but in the past. And then new stuff, yes. Flight Attendant mm -hmm. won't be leading the charge, though. No, right? not yet, because now, you know, because of the virus, along with many other productions, were halted for a second. But hoping to get back to work in a few months, hopefully, that's what I'm hearing. Um, and we can finish the first season and get it out there, too. I'm really excited about it. Carl, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. What did you no, say? No, don't, don't. So you're talking about COVID? Mm hmm The fans don't want to know that. Actually, yeah, they might. Okay. I think that's it for this episode. Bree, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank Carl, you. thank you for that. You guys and have a great day. Yep, until next time. Until next time. We love you. Bye. Guys, quick PS. I'm going to add to the end of this video. Well, actually, my sister and Carl are. They're going to make fun of me, but I don't know how to edit. We're gonna add in a couple of photos from our fun little, um, yeah. from our meal pickup yesterday at our favorite restaurant, Angelino's. And I'm gonna leave info about Angelino's because it's great and they're still doing takeout orders. So if you wanna call great and Italian food. order some good food and enjoy. Um, and um, yeah, that's that. So there you go.